And a peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. I'm Brian Anderson, and joining me at the table, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. We've also got Allie LaForce bringing us reports. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Ms. Magbiumbo is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Williams in at the three slot. And for the Pelicans. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. The backcourt for Cullivan Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the center spot. All right, folks, get your running shoes on. Both of these teams want to push the pace. Oh, that they do. Pace, pace, pace. And as a fan, I just love these types of matchups. It's so much fun to see these teams get up and down the floor, play with pace, and have fun. I'm excited for this one. Now here's Jones. Back to Valanchunas. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That went on Biombo. Free throw drops from Valanchunas. For Richard, since 2011, the Grizzlies have been very competitive, only missing the playoffs three times. Yeah. Drafting some incredible young talent and allowing them to develop. And Valanchunas drops them both. Grant with the Pelicans, so many of the past few years have started with such high hopes. Yeah, B.A., and at the end of every season, it feels like there's a big what-if hanging over New Orleans. They haven't been able to catch many breaks in recent years. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. He's sure drawing those whistles. A couple of quick ones here. Tillman's checked in for Memphis. Tillman. And so it's Valanchunas who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. And here's McCollum. He played a great game against San Antonio. Fades. The shot no good. And here are the Grizzlies. Jackson, the pass to Moran. Always a nice way to start. Yeah, Makes Moran. his first one. Good D sometimes just isn't enough against John ja Moran. McCollum taking his time here. Pass to Jones. Over Bain. Jones, his shot is good. Jones! Morant with it. Here's Bain. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter, the kick out to Williams. Drains the triple. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's New Orleans now. Pass to Jones. with a reverse dunk. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Bain. And there's the drive. Always a nice way to start. Yeah, makes man. his first one. Three out of three. Perfect start. Let's see how long they can ride this wave. McCollum against Moran. Now here's McCollum. Not a lot of room. Outside Ingram. Five on the clock. Count it. One for one to start the game. Good timing on the shot from Ingram. Understanding the situation and beating the defense just in time. Outside Bain. Over Jones. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Herb Jones picks one up. And he makes a first. And 
and Payne drops them both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Pass to Valentunas. Here's McCullum. There's the drive. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And here's Bain. Now here's Williams. Here's Tillman. Valanchunas covering. Just five to shoot. Here's Morant. Morant with yeah. the slam! And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. McCullum drives in. And McCullum slams it in. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Tillman passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Pass to Valentunas. Jones against Spain. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Jones has got six points. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Moran. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. Williamson against Jackson. Pass to Williams. It's stolen by Ingram. Stealing a ball in the NBA, it takes more than quickness. It takes smarts. Run it. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Well, Richard, very early going in the NBA calendar. Think back to your rookie season. What were some of your first impressions? And he can't get the first one. Daniels has checked in for the Pelicans. Good on the second one. And in last year's playoffs, Memphis falling to the Lakers in six, RJ. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointing season for the Grizzlies. They were the two seed, but injuries to Brandon Clark, injuries to Steven Adams, that just put them in a position that was not there for a postseason run. For a 6'3 guard like McCullum, the floater is a must. Just goes right over the shot blockers. Here's Moran. Valanchunas with a rebound. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Pass to Williamson. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Now here's Moran. Jackson on the wing. There's the triple. And again, Memphis no good. The Pelicans have got six of ten attempts to fall. Here's Williamson. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Man. Here's Moran. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies. Came away with a win. Yeah, they destroyed this team on the glass in the last meeting. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Oh, there's yeah, Morant with the slam. That's just Showing three. off that verb. Williams. Morant attacks the basket with just such intensity. There's not much any defense can do with it. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point land so far. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Some changes for New Orleans. Down low. 
Conchar outside. Pass to Moran. He connects. Yeah, and now he's four for six in today's game. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Alvarado, the pass to Zeller. Now Alvarado. Knocked away. Here's Moran. And count it. Now five for seven. Welcoming any physicality on his way up. Moran enjoys that type of challenge. Here's Alvarado. And he parries his first look. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Now here's Moran. He's got 10. Pass to Conchar. Jackson outside. Two minutes remaining in the first. No good on the triple. The Pelicans trail. Here's Ingram. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. With his length, Ingram can shoot over defenders. Morant looking around. Jackson with it. To the paint. Here's Tillman. And he lays it up and in. They have no answer defensively inside. Now here's Alvarado, hounded by Moran. We've got 113 left to play in the first. Yes, it's good. When he was in the G League, Daniels proved he was an effective passer, so we know he can spot an open man for sure. Outside, Williams. Oh, blocked by Ingram. Pass to Daniels. Ingram against Jackson. Shoots inside. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. And the ball out of play. The Pelicans will have it. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. New Orleans is shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Marshall. No made baskets yet. Zeller. It's good on the putback. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now here's Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Pelicans ahead. They lead by a bucket. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. The Grizzlies. 22. Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point Business to get the ball Neon down ball. inside and Business. challenge that interior defense. Business. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. Najee Marshall is out there with Trey Murphy, and it's Valanchunas in at the five. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. Here's Marshall. He's scoreless. And the foul called on Bismack Biombo. That's his third foul of the game. Zion Williamson has checked in for Marshall. Team foul. McCullum against Bain. Pass to Valentunas. All alone. Altama grabs a board. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. 
misses from close range. And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. Grant, when you look at the Memphis team from last year, everyone was under 30 years of age. Yeah, and a lot of upside there. But the move this summer to bring in veteran leaders like Marcus Smart, I mean, he fits their timeline, B.A., and can also balance some of that youth with experience. And the Grizzlies with possession here, following the score by New Orleans. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Ryan, a few years back, Marcus Smart was talking about how he'd love to follow in Hall of Famer Gary Payton's footsteps as the next guard to win Defensive Player of the Year. He spoke it into existence last year, winning that coveted award. But guys, you watch him play. His actions on the court speak louder than words. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff there. Here's Bain. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Altama outside. Williams on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Back to Aldama from deep. Got a piece of it. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. It's the 2K leaderboard showing the teams with the most points off turnovers last season. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. And whenever you turn the ball over against them, they pushed it right back at you. Last year, they were just merciless at exploiting teams whenever they made mistakes against them. McCullum passed to Jones. And now the Grizzlies on the run. And the basket by Bain. Bain's got seven points in the game. He was way ahead of the pack. No one around to contest. He can do anything he wants in that situation. And those might be the easiest points of the month for him. Now here's Jones. He's got six. Here's Williamson. Offensive board. Alan Chunas. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Four. No good on that one. Well, we normally don't pick favorites, but come on. Do you have a player you like watching the most, Grant? All right, B.A., you're going to get me in trouble, but Ja is really fun to watch. Ingram's checked in for Williamson. Tillman's checked in for Memphis. Williams comes in for Roddy. That one misses. And that's surprising. He's usually automatic at the free throw line. Outside Bain. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Fires it. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. See, that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Tipped. Now Aldama. No point so far. Pass to Bain. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Assist road. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Grizzlies. When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. And here are the Pelicans now. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. A go-to score. Love seeing Ingram take punishment and fight his way through it. Ja Morant, he's checked in for Williams. 13 foul. That free throw, good from Ingram. A natural score. Every single year, Ingram seems to take another leap in his game. Now here's Moran. Ten points for him. And the basket by Aldama. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. And Richard Ja Morant, one of those guys that seems to always be working hard on his game. So much fun to watch. Yeah, he looks to improve every single year and still believes he can get even better than he is now. you got to love that type of mindset. Oh, what a tricky shot. CJ, he's showing off now. Outside Bain. Jacks up a three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. 
their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Outside Jones. Pass to Valentunas. Grizzlies with the rebound. Tillman's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. Outside for Moran. Bain with it. Outside, Williams. And another Williams. basket for Memphis. Williams. The assist. Desmond Bain. The Pelicans have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. McCullum pass to Valanchunas. Ingram finds Valanchunas. Yep, that one goes. Yeah. Valanchunas has gotten four this quarter. Excellent display of strength from Valanchunas. Didn't seem to be bothered by the contact. Pass to Williams. And Ingram with the block. Yeah, nice Excuse fake me. by Ingram. Setting the defender up to fail. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. That free throw, good from Ingram. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Jackson. Both free throws good from Ingram. Timeout call, Memphis. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see. And it's Morant with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Jackson outside. Lays it up and banks it in. Jackson Jr. And the Grizzlies lead by three. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Alvarado, the pass to Daniels. Zeller with the ball. Here's Daniels. Still no points. Alvarado right side. From downtown, he drops it from range. It's all knotted up. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. And here's Moran. He's got 10. And Williams punches it home. And this is part of Morant's role. As a guard, he's responsible for finding the open man. Here's Marshall. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Roddy's checked in. 15-5, Nazi Marshall. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Right side, Moran. Jackson for three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. And a slam dunk by Ingram. They want Ingram attacking the basket like this. It gets his juices flowing when he can get to the rim and finish strong. Outside Morant. Now here's Conchar. Tight defense on him. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Ingram. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Morant with it. He's got ten. Here's Williams. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. The 
free throw drops for Williams. The Pelicans making a switch here. Williamson's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. New Orleans in the lead. Pass to Marshall. Williams grabs the board. Memphis has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Roddy, no good. Risky strategy here. I mean, shifting their offense more to the outside? Hmm, we'll see. Here's Williamson. And so far in this one, two for four. Excellent work inside from Williamson. This is why he's so aggressive down there. Outside Morant. Takes a three. The shot won't fall. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 16-6 run. Alvarado, the pass to Zeller. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Pass to Robbie. Now Conchar, out to the right wing. And he knocks down the first one. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. Williams. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Here's Alvarado, hounded by Moran. Pass to Daniels from the arc. Grizzlies with the rebound. Here's Robbie. Now Moran. Six to shoot. to get that one to fall. A big time effort for Brandon Ingram providing a lot of energy for the Pelicans. Hunting for opportunities leading to nine points in the quarter. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. The first half was all about Brandon Ingram. He had 13 points, two rebounds, and two blocks. It's been quite a night so far for him. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Pelicans? We have to recognize their best play. Sometimes we overlook the second half. But tonight, they've been defeated. Coaching staff has got to be loving it, getting that extra beat. Shaq, your take on Memphis. Well, they need to turn the heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the hill, not getting hit in the face. They allowed a shooting percentage at the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage at the high 50s. Come on, guys. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Boy, this has been one outstanding game from Brandon Ingram. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. And you can bet that that's had an effect the rest of the way. Guys won't be trying to take him one-on-one -on -one because he alters just as many shots as he blocks. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. On the court for Memphis. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Jaron Jackson out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Williams in a small forward. The vision, the ability to throw every type of pass. Moran's already reached an elite level as a playmaker. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession here. 
Biombo. He's checked in for Aldama. Bismat Biombo. Payne against Jones. It's rebounded by Memphis. That is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. Jackson. Yes! And the foul! Zion Williamson. It'll be on Zion Williamson. Personal and you can see the strength that Jackson has added to that huge frame. He is turning into a monster. But you really can't say enough about what Jaron Jackson Jr. has done since entering the league, RJ. Yeah, be And that one falls for Jackson. And what really distinguishes Jackson? The soft touch of his shot. Most young bigs are still developing that. McCollum against Moran. Shot's good by McCollum. McCollum's got 10. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting yeah. through the screen. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. And that's what we've come to expect from Zion. Exactly. CJ McCullough. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. Count it. Good. Jack Jackson's Jackson. got five points now in the quarter. You know, I think this guy just loves the game of basketball. The preparation, the interaction with his teammates. He has fun out there on the floor. Now here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Here's Jones. Kicks it out to Williamson. Back to Jones. Three-pointer. Hits the trifecta. Nine points in the game. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Here's Morant. 12 points for him. Bain, the pass to Biombo. And it's in there. And the Grizzlies lead by one. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Valentunas. Outside for Ingram. From behind the arc. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got five rebounds tonight. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Brian? Yeah, chemistry and leadership. They have it. Thanks, Allie. Here's Morant. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Outside Bain. Williams on the wing. Let's the three fly. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. And man, is he in a zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. Williams against Ingram. Williamson outside. And they pick up two. Williamson's got eight. With an insane combination of power and touch, Zion is a one-of-a-kind star. Bain finds Williams. Here's Biombo. Outside Morant. Pass to Jackson. Now here's Williams. Shot clock at six. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Williams has got 19 points. The team first mindset of Jackson willing to get the ball to his open guys. Williamson passes to McCollum. Valanciunas with it. Now here's Williamson. Give him eight. Paddles through traffic and lays it in. He's got ten. You know, coach gets mad when Williamson gets hit and there's no whistle. And it happens a lot. Moran against McCollum. 
Morant, the pass to Jackson. No good from outside. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Here's Williamson. And he converts the layup. An excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. And here's Morant. He's got 12. Jackson passed to Morant. Back to Jackson. Williamson against Spain. Second shot opportunity. Count it and one. He'll have a chance in the three-point play. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far from Memphis? Jeff, Their Jeff, offense has been a well-oiled machine. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. Conchar, he's checked in for Memphis. Williams comes in for Moran. And that one falls for Jackson. And here's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Cleveland where they'll face the Cavaliers. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Their offense is really humming right now. And it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. And the Grizzlies call time here. Boy, without question. And here we now get a look back on the best shot blockers in the NBA last season. Jaron Jackson, number one. Even when the ball would swing away from him, he would rotate and challenge the shot. The Grizzlies have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Bain with it. He's got 12. Pass to Jackson. Rebounded by Marshall. New Orleans has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Oh, there's the alley. Biombo with a steal. Bain against McCollum. Outside, Williams. Kicks it out to Jackson. Takes the three. Counted. Now five of 11 for the game. This is not the same guy we saw in the first half. Credit him for finding a way to shake off those first two quarters. McCullum, the pass to Williamson. To the right side. Conchar covers. Outside Jones. Puts it up from 12. And another basket for New Orleans. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. Jackson outside. Left side Bain. Yes. And a nice assist from Jackson. He's got 14 points for the game. Jackson is ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Here's McCollum. And the shot's good. 12 points for him. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Jones against Williams. Pass to Bain. And another basket for Memphis. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. The Pelicans trail. And here is Williamson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's foul number two for him. A great job to establish position and square up. Daniels has checked in for Jones. Memphis has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Bain, the pass to Tillman. Conchar, outside. Yep, that one's good. When you look at how they've come out in the second half, it's almost like night and day. And they look like a completely different team. I wonder what Coach said to them at halftime to help spark this momentum change. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. And Zion living up to his full potential tonight. He can be a terrifying matchup when he's playing with energy. Outside, Williams. Pass to Bain. Puts up a deep three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. 
He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. And there's McCollum on the assist by Williamson. And it's now only a one-point Memphis lead. With the assist. Here's Bain. He's got 16. Conchar outside. Tillman. Rebounded by Marshall. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Outside, Williams. There's 47 seconds left to play in the third. McCullum way outside. No good with the triple. Memphis has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Here's Tillman. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Tillman's got his second basket of the game. McCullum outside. Back to Daniels. Williamson looking around. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Count it. Williamson's got 20 points. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Bain against McCollum. Outside Bain. Missed it. Zion Williamson has been on display for the Pelicans. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. The Grizzlies. 77. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. There wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Jonas Valanciunas out there with Cody Zeller. And it's Alvarado in at the point. That's the Pelicans five. Now here's Alvarado. Excellent D there from Moran. Memphis trailing here. Left side Williams. And Williams punches it home. Cutting into this lead. They're well within striking distance. A stop or two in the next minute or so, and they could even this game up. Great job to keep battling. Here's Ingram. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Anytime Ingram gets a look that close in, it's a great trip down the floor. Outside, Williams. Knocked loose. Oh, it's stolen by Zeller. Ingram against Williams. Tries it from 16. Here's Valanciunas. Ooh, tough possession there. They stayed with it. Just couldn't make the shot. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Outside Morant. Conchar outside. Clock at six. Over Jones. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And the Grizzlies lead by one. Coming down the stretch. It's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. Here's Valanciunas. And that one good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Aldama outside. The three is up. The Pelicans pull it in. Outside Ingram. And the dunk by Valanciunas. The great read between those two guys. 
The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Moran. Puts up a three. Aldama, no good. To the left side wing. Here's Zeller. Aldama grabs a board. Aldama's got four rebounds now. Pass to Biombo. Here's Moran. Altama right side. There's the three. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Morant's got his sixth assist of the night. The Pelicans have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Valanchunas finds Jones. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Defensive and a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. You've got to be impressed with how assertive they are on offense. Can C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Memphis has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. And he lobs it up top. Stolen by Valanciunas. Pass to Jones. Here's Zeller. Ooh, here's Zeller. Slams it home. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Now here's Morant. Morant fights through John contact Morant. inside. John Morant was a great player, but he became a star once he learned how to dominate pick and rolls. Outside Jones. Valanchunas down low. Defended by Biombo. Valanchunas, good. Valanchunas has got six points in the quarter. And they've really managed to dominate inside. McCullum against Moran. Moran with the slam! He'll put you on your heels in a hurry. Morant slicing through the D. Pass to Zeller. Here's Jones. Driving inside. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to it, okay, even better. We'll take it. First personal foul. First team foul. And he drops the first. In an era where so many point guards are three-point shooters, John Morant, you know what? This man is built different. He's more of a throwback. Marshall's John checked in. Williams has checked in for Memphis. And Morant drops them both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. Fires from deep. Williams grabs the board. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Moran against McCollum. Outside, Williams. Rejected by Valanchunas. Yeah, that shot didn't stand a chance. Can't sleep on JV's monstrous reach. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. So Jones will go to the free throw line. For your Pelicans. That's good from Jones. Time call here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful. Now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Zion Williamson. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. 
Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. He really emphasized rim protection. He said to his guys, I want us to cut down on the easy looks inside. No more of that. It's a simple ask that could have a big impact. As always, Allie, we thank you. Memphis has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Morant, the pass to Williams. Jackson with it. Marshall's there. Jack Ooh, Jackson impressive Jr. fadeaway right there. Assisted with a versatile offensive skill set, Jackson, Jackson has shown the ability to do damage in the mid-range. New Orleans calls timeout. Here's McCullum. Outside Jones. Pass to Valentunas. And here's McCullum. Pounded by Moran. Just five on the clock. And yep, it's good. And the Pelicans lead by six. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Now here's Williams. Offensive rebound. Jackson, the pass to Williams. And another shot. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got five rebounds tonight. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Now here's Moran. And there's the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Jones. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Gotta be careful when Jackson is lurking more than just capable of sending it back. And the Pelicans making a change here. Williamson's checked in. And Memphis. New Orleans in the lead. Jones, the pass to Williamson. Valanchunas finds McCullum. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Desmond Bain. It's on Desmond Bain. First free throw is good. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Greg? So, well, Fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. And McCollum drops them both. A late bloomer. C.J. McCollum's career has been fun to watch unfold, and I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. Ooh, Morant going yeah, right at him. Morant. Well, I guess we could give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. McCollum against Moran. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. Memphis ball. So it's the Grizzlies now. The three. Yes! A Moran three! Get this man the ball, and he will make something happen. Moran rises to the occasion. Man. Jones, the pass to Valanchunas. Outside Jones. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Now Moran. A minute 35 left in the final quarter. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. Williamson's got four rebounds in the game. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Valachunas against Moran. Ja slices through. Here's Biombo. And Biombo slams it home. <laughs> and when the game is this 
this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Now here's Jackson. Here's Williams. And it's in. Williams. And that one brings him within one. And talk about Jackson. stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Ingram on the wing. With the fadeaway. And he sinks it. This guy is just a gamer. England doesn't feel pressure. He embraces the moment in taking and making important shots. Payne, the pass to Williams. Throws it up high. The Pelicans pull it in. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. McCullough right, shot right, is right. off. Right. Timeout call. Memphis. They're trailing by three. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. New Orleans calls timeout. Ingram against Williams. Now here's Ingram. They could win it. Oh, it's good! Woo! The buzzer is how you finish it. The winner at the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. What, what a finish. tonight where do you get that confidence level to take over like this uh, coming in working on my routine every single day uh, for my teammates put me in a really really good position to uh, step in the shots and give me confidence in the basketball floor to shoot the ball and also look in the basketball to do whatever they want for the creator to make something happen so confidence comes from my teammates and you've been a great teammate as well guys back to you thanks Ali. great interview once again and that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone.